And now being a mathematician, I'm also interested in problem solving. And uh, of course, there are mathematical problems, they are not like real life problems, but it's uh, the field of operations research is concerned with bringing mathematics into operations so that we could deal with them in uh, quantitative and more precise manner than uh, hit and miss or in qualitative ways. So as a result of this concern, I used to work in the State Department Arms Control Disarmament. We used to go to Geneva to negotiate with the Soviets at the time uh, about nuclear arms reduction. And it was very difficult at that time to decide how many U.S. tanks are worth how many Russian airplanes and so on. It's certainly not the price they're needed for strategic purposes. And I used to have a team of game theorists and economists who worked with me. <coughs> they were distinguished people. <coughs> Four of them won the Nobel Prize. Uh, but they were unable to give rather quick answer to these questions because they had to develop the theory to answer the question. That led me to ask myself about how people made decisions instinctively, not necessarily technically, and I came on the idea that comparisons were necessary, and it turns out some distinguished philosophers like Schopenhauer had thought that there are no absolute things have to compare with others respect to common properties they share to determine their priorities. And uh, gradually that led me to develop the AHP, its fundamental scale, the principal eigenvector because people are not consistent in their judgments, and what is the best way to get the priorities with an inconsistent. And then to generalize that to uh, networks and feedback, not just hierarchies, so that you could take any tangle of factors that depend on one another and lay out the complexity of their interaction, determine their priorities. Uh, and then further that mathematics proved to be valid enough, uh, powerful enough to generalize to the continuous case where when we look at things our brains make many, many comparisons quickly with the millions of neurons they have and what the mathematics of that looks like and uh, what, how you synthesize the neural firings and uh, the, that such firings are dense. That means they can be used to come arbitrarily close to anything that you're experiencing. Vision, sound, touch and so on, which technology cannot handle yet. And uh, so it seems that the HP that I developed that deals with the measurement intangibles has a kind of a generality that uh, one does not need to apologize for. Uh, my a main paper of mine was published by the American Mathematical Society in February 2013. And the same paper with Francis and Russian published in Moscow in the spring of 2015, and now it's being translated to a number of other languages, among them Chinese, Romanian, uh, uh, Italian, and so on, uh, because mathematicians are beginning to, you know, to pay serious attention to uh, the mathematics involved, which is different. Uh, mathematics of relative comparisons is different from the traditional mathematics that inherits its origins from the axioms of logic laid down by Plato and Aristotle that lack the, an additional axiom about comparisons.